Hello and welcome back to my channel again. Uh, guys, we will start continuing with my next commands of Unix, which is there in the syllabus. Uh, let me open my PDF first. Okay. So space management, space management. Okay. After uh, in every oper operating system, we have a drives. Uh, in Windows, we have actually drives under my computer. You can see the C drive, D drive, E drive, F drive. So usually what do you do if any drive gets full? Suppose my E drive uh, total space is a 50 GB and out of 50 GB, it almost uh, 49 GB is full. Only one GB is pending in that. So usually what we do, we enter in that drive and we remove the files, which is unwanted files. And uh, I will remove it. I will delete it permanently from the that drive folder also we can delete and we'll make sure that uh, the threshold which is a uh, more than 99% it will come down so then it will give me the good uh, performance of that OS uh, here we can see uh, now I am in my my computer you you can see it is a my C drive I'll right click on it go to the properties here I, I'll get a chance to see what is the total size of that drive and uh, out of which how many GB is free and how many GB is uh, used so total size is a 465 GB out of which 65 GB is a full so I have good memory in my laptop so it will give me the good performance as well similar way if you want to check the same thing in Unix what you need to do so let me open my terminal that is Ubuntu so here we have a command called as DF it will help you to uh, check file system space the way you have a drives in Windows in Unix you have a file system <clears throat> in first column you can see the file system name in Unix default size shows in blocks the way uh, size shows in uh, GB or MB means uh, in Windows you can see in bytes but uh, in uh, Unix you can see in blocks if you want to see in bytes also then there is an option df H you can use so it will show you in the bytes but default it will show you in blocks so this is what the total size in second column you can see out of which used here available here and percentage total 14 percent is full that particular drive root fs drive is full up to 14 percent but uh, the way uh, in uh, unix we called folder as a directory so we will call drive as a file system okay so look at here c, c drive file system total size is this out of this is a used now this is an application that's the reason you can see everywhere 466 gb okay but in actual server you will not get the same look command uh, use is the same to check the usage of file system last column shows as a mounted on mounted on means what to access that file system you need to use this okay if i want to enter in c drive or c file system then uh, there is a path given here i need to use this part to enter in that file system like this cd mnt c if i will do ls here i can see the files and folders available in that folder c drive under c drive i have program files program data you can see here so it is uh, showing the data which is avail available in c drive uh, there are some permissions i have uh, i am not here because I'm a normal user, so it is not uh, giving permission to open these files, but other files and directories I can see easily see here. Okay, so PWD right now I'm in this directory. I'm again going to my home directory CD tilt. Now this is what my home directory and we are learning here DF command, which will show you the total usage of your file system, how many percentage it is full. So similarly, if you'll see last file system is a 14% full suppose if it is a uh, more than 90 percent so what you need to do you will access that file system you will enter in, in into it and you will remove unwanted files you will zip uh, you will archive some data or you will move some data to another directory usually what we perform in space management if my d drive is empty and e drive is a full so i will move some data from e drive to d drive and i'll make sure that uh, threshold and uh, space is similar in both drive so in this way you need to work here so under df we have a df-k command it will show you the usage in blocks and df-h it will show you in bytes so df command we will use to check the file system usage in unix uh, 
first column it will show you the name of file system the way c drive d drive e drive in uh, unix we have file system root fs uh, rest all of uh, these are the <clears throat> by default file system given by this ubuntu app which is not an actual one and this is application this is not an actual os we are using this only for unix common practice here you can see total size use size how many space available how many percentage it is full and mounted on means what this is a way to access that file system cd you need to enter in this path then you will go to the that the particular directory so we will go to the next we will learn how to create a folder how, how to uh, create a files in unix uh, let me jump to my pdf again okay so with the help of df it will show you the file system space if i want to see any particular files or folders space then du command will come in the picture so control l i am pressing to clear the terminal du hyphen h so these are this is what the show, now in this laptop i don't have any files and directory i have created yet but let me go to the mnt and c drive which we have accessed just now and if you hit du command there are a number of files are present in this directory or this file system so if you do this it will show you all the files now look at this till last output it will start running there are a number of files present in that c drive now that's the reason it's showing like this now i'm doing Control c to kill this so i have used Control c to kill this so du command will tell you the files space files or directory space what is the exact size of that files or uh, under c drive how many files are taking highest memory so these are the list of the files are taking highest memory uh, it was showing with uh, size also so du h uh, let me take uh, first 10 lines mm -hmm. it is not working because it is showing permission denied for few files i don't have permissions du let me check and what is this pipe so use of pipe that we will learn tail command also we will learn later here i'm just showing you how many files are taking highest memory under that file system so i wanted to know top 10 files so i will use head command so these are the files are taking highest memory and here we don't have permission reason we are not getting the actual size of this okay let's move to the my home directory again df and du is done here uh, after df and du uh, we have a next command where is my pdf it's here tty sctty it's not very useful for us it will show you only terminal name and terminal details that mo it is not getting used in uh, uh, production also so this is only terminal details which is required to the whenever uh, your os get crash or something goes wrong with your os any patching activities there then uh, if someone from the red hat team they are asking you these details then you need to provide such such kind of details to them but we never use such such command in the production tty and sty i'll go to the next pwd command it will show you you are available under which directory right now i am available under my home um, under home i have mangesh so default directory is a mangesh i am there so let me create one more directory here with the help of mkdr i can create a new directory and uh, here i am creating a directory name is a ram let me do ls so i have a abc file and i have a, a ram directory so in unix uh, if you want to access the directory then you need to use cd command cd ram now you have entered in that ram directory use pwd you can see you are available under which directory home mangesh and ram are you are available in this directory right now this is what the entire path windows is very easy it can directly tell you you will access c drive you will go to the program files you can easily see that you are under c c drive program files if you access to access the folder just double click on it look at here you are available under oracle folder but this will not work in unis if i want to go back i can click here windows is very user friendly but same if you want to do in unix cd command will come in the picture cd dot dot it will go you to your previous directory see i am in my previous directory then uh, cd command used to change the directory mkdr command used to 
create the directory in unix so i will tell you some more shortcuts about the mkdir and uh, cd cd space tilt if you press then you can go this is a tilt symbol the key is available above your tab uh, and be, be below of your escape key it will it used to go to the your home directory now where, wherever you go cd slash i enter in my starting of the uh, directory so this is what the slash this is what my starting point ls we have these are the folders under my unix these are the by default folder if i want to go to the my home directory i will use this look i came to my home directory again if i want to go to the slash directory again i came to the slash directory you can use the entire path also i want to go to home under home i have mangesh directory under mangesh directory i have a ram directory like that now see i am available in my ram directory so cd command you can use to change the directory now i'll show you i'll go to the starting of the point and i i give you a task please go jump and go to that ram directory what people are doing cd ram and they will find this error no such a file set obviously the ram directory is not present in this directory ram is there in mangesh and mangesh is there in that home directory so home directory go to the home directory first where it is home uh, let me show you uh, it's uh, here this is your home directory so in windows it is very easy double click on it and then access that folder but not same in unix cd home now i enter in my home directory take ls there are two folders available one is mangesh and second one is a ramesh i want to enter in mangesh i entered c pwd i came to mangesh directory do ls i can see ram here cd ram do ls there is nothing in ram directory because it is empty do pwd you can see you are available in that directory home mangesh and ram so in this way you can use the command you require correct path you require that folder available in that directory then and then only you can use cd command like this also now again i want to go back to the previous directory i will use cd space dot dot also or i can use this also home mangesh i can go in my previous directory so it's up to you which is the proper and familiar way for you start doing practice start working on the cd command find out your own way to work on cd now uh, i'm giving you one task i don't have anything in this uh, directory i have only ram directory present uh, under your uh, mangesh directory and i want to create one uh, uh, abc directory in the same folder under abc i want to create one more directory called as xyz so obviously what i need to do parent directory and child directory i want to create here so within one command if you want to do it then mkdir hyphen p then uh, uh, which directory you want uh, at the start i want abc under abc i want xyz i have hit enter look ls you can see abc directory is present here go to abc first abc and do ls you can see xyz is also present so what 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 has uh, see under Bangesh directory you have used this command it is creating abc directory under abc it is automatically creating xyz directory so go to that xyz directory also and look where i am i am available in uh, Mang home Mangesh, abc and xyz right now this is what my current directory so mkdr hyphen p will help you how to create a parent and child directory or similar way you can give the entire path like under mangesh for directory i want to create one more directory name is a uh, let me put the name as a suresh so mkdir i will put the path like this under mangesh i want a new directory and name of that directory is a suresh see i did not get any error it means what you have used mkdir command and you are going to create one directory under your home under your mangesh and the name of that new directory is a suresh and it is available there go to your this directory now this is got selected cd uh, right click on it it will paste i don't know why it is not pasting okay it's not working i guess right click mangesh 
directory i can see suraj directory is also present previously it was not here so guys we have learned here uh, what is a use of uh, file system the similar way we have uh, drives in windows in unix we have a file system in windows we have a directory here we, uh, we uh, in windows we have a uh, folders in unix we have a directory so this is what the actual architecture under directory you can keep files and under directory also you can keep files wait uh, uh, i'll show you okay the this is what windows here you can see drive and the way you have drives in windows in unix you have a file systems under file system you, you can create directories okay. or files similar in drives also you can create folders or files similar under folders also you can create folders and files and in unix we can create directories and files or files under one directory we can create directory also and files also so uh, windows is very user friendly but uh, similar way uh, unix to create a files we must be aware of some commands previously we have learned script command to create a file but what script command was doing it was uh, creating on uh, creating a file it was recording a session and with the help of script command you can record a session into a new file so we have only learned one command to create a file that is a script one there is one more command called as touch it will help you to create a files in unix and it would be your empty file so i want to create one empty file in my home directory i am in my home directory touch i can give the file name as a file one so ls look at this this is a file one uh, uh right now you just assume this blue means directory this white means files when we will cover ls command that time i'll tell you how to identify files and directories in unix right now we are just creating it but in my next video we will learn uh, how to identify which is a files and which is a directory because similar this is a color coding color coding is not available in every flavors if this is a linux flavor that's the reason you can easily assume this blue is file and this white sorry this blue is directory and this white is file but same thing is not available in every flavors like aix and sun solaris so i'll tell you how to identify files and directories in unix in our next video so right now i'm closing this one i don't want to make it very lengthy start practicing of these commands which we have learned in this video see you again in next video thanks for watching